Hey you, welcome to my Buy This Not That shopping guide where we are breaking down spring 2022 fashion trends so that we can look modern but still stay within our budget. I feel like there are tons of videos and articles out there talking about what are the current fashion trends, but how are we going to translate them into our wardrobe that makes sense for us, that won't necessarily cost us a lot of money and also not cost us our personal style. The first one I wanna talk about is color because that is always a big topic when it comes to trends. And one of several color trends that we're seeing of is a lot of bright color which are exciting and wonderful. It's spring and summer. It makes sense to be wearing a lot of bright colors right now. However, if you don't already have a version of that color in your wardrobe, then you're gonna have a harder time fitting it in and letting it match everything else. If you have a mostly neutral wardrobe, then it's probably going to be easier to add in some other colors but are they going to be ones that you pull from and wear often and get a lot out of? So if diving too deeply into color is a little daunting or maybe you're not ready for that, I would prefer to go for the trend of the all white. Wearing all white head to toe, it's like the warm weather version of an all black outfit, but we're definitely seeing that as a trend this year. And so if I can wear something that I may have already would have worn and look trendy doing it, all the better. White is also one of those staples that is likely already somewhere in your wardrobe, maybe not, but it's in a a lot of wardrobes already. So just making sure you have a couple outfits that you could just put all together in white and you're good to go. The other color we're seeing a lot of is the color green. So again, if you have a very saturated green or if you found a particular tone of green as something that you have a lot of already in your wardrobe, then lean into it, get a lot more green, stock up. It's gonna go with everything you already have. However, if you don't have a lot of green, I would stick more towards those neutral muted greens, whether that's a sage green or an olive green. Sage green is going to read a little bit more spring, more summer, but at the same time, olive green goes with any season. It's a very versatile neutral. Green is honestly one of those colors that certain shades are going to look dated in a few years. So as this green shade is coming in and you're going to see it all over everything, be really picky about which ones you're choosing. However, if there is one that you just love and you know it's super trendy, then maybe picking it in a handbag or even a shoe is a nice way to add a pop of that trend. But knowing that it's probably going to get phased out eventually. When it comes to looking up what spring trends are really big right now, I feel like every year we are always talking about our hemlines on skirts and dresses. And this year I feel like we're getting pulled in two very different directions. We have mini skirts and we have maxi dresses and maxi skirts. So the first thing is, Pick which one you like to wear best. If you're fine showing off your legs, great. If you don't wanna show off your legs, also great. But the key is to really be honest with yourself with how much you wear skirts or dresses in these warmer months. Know what climate you live in. What does your spring look like? What does your summer look like? Is this a question that's better served for you in the summer like it is me where it rains pretty much all spring and I don't like to wear dresses when it's raining and still cold. But when the summer comes, love to wear dresses. So determining whether or not to buy this or buy that, it kinda is up to you. Again, and there are mini versions of both and maxi versions of both. And is this the right time for you? Even if you want to, are you actually going to wear it? Next trend I wanna talk about is jeans. And I feel like there's a lot to unpack here. We're seeing lower rise, we're seeing some darker washes. And when it comes to rise, pick the rise that fits your body. If you have a longer torso, a higher rise is gonna work better for you. If you have a lower torso, a lower, did I say that right? If you have a shorter torso, a lower rise is gonna work better for you. Basically, you just want it to come up to about your belly button ish. I don't think rise is somewhere where you should be looking to add a trend. I'm not loving the dark wash with the over embellishment look right now. It's a little out there. It's a little loud. Again, I'm more of a neutral lover. All of my colors in my palette are neutrals. So adding all of these bright colors for me is just feeling too trendy and it's not feeling genuine to me. But what I would buy instead is definitely making sure you have light wash jeans and white denim. Again, you can do that all white outfit. But when picking out those denims, I would pick a looser look where definitely seeing more straight leg jeans, flared jeans, bootleg cut. Even if it's taking a high rise jean and going a size up and wearing it a little bit lower on your hips, that is going to give you that look of just that loose, relaxed denim feel that is still really on trend right now, but it's not so far into the trend that we're doing a lot of bright colors on our jeans that may or may not work with things we already own. And the reason I like these looser legs and looser fits so much better is because it actually works better with the platform trend that we're seeing a lot in shoes. Whether that's platform trend or lug sole, kind of that chunkier shoe, chunkier bottom, it's gonna look more proportionate with a looser jean to have a little bit extra on your foot versus if you were to have a completely flat foot bottom, it's gonna look a little bit disproportionate with your feet. So I like the platform trend for this. I definitely, again, suggest 
choosing your colors, your styles, things that you're actually going to wear. Definitely one of the trendier looks are these Bratz dolls style heels and while that's not personally my style, if I found one in a color that I wear a lot when it comes to shoes, then I could see that adding a touch of a trend to something I'm already wearing. Another trend we've been seeing for a while are the bra tops and crochet tops. Unless you really want to, which of course here in this space, you're always allowed to wear what you wanna wear. You don't need my permission. These are just my opinions, but I feel like you can only wear bra tops and crochet tops in really specific situations. Like you can't wear that to work usually. And crochet tops and actually both bra tops and crochet tops seem a little cold to me. It's again determining what fits your climate but it just doesn't seem like a long wearing trend. It doesn't seem classic or timeless to me. And so instead I would encourage you this spring to use this time to evaluate your tea collection. What are your t-shirts looking like? Especially your white tees because you're going to be doing a lot of all white outfits and they tend to show stains the quickest so I will be replacing a few of mine. But when it comes to outfits we're seeing you could easily take an outfit that you see that's wearing a bra top and change it out for just a simple tee and you're still going to look really stylish and on trend and modern without having to wear the bra top that, you know, could eventually very likely be a waste of money. And then just up in the landfill, which is not environmentally sustainable. And then you really don't know what your style is. If your style is already wearing bra tops and crochet tops, whether they're in or out, fine, you do you. Another color trend we're seeing a lot that I'm loving is the all one color look. So we're seeing a lot of this in the bright colors. Again, if that bright color is not in your wheelhouse or you don't feel like you're gonna wear it all that much, go ahead and pick one of the colors that is in your wardrobe. If you've watched my videos about finding your style before, you should have about four or five colors that you can pick from that are like, this is my color, these all work together. So if you have one of those colors that if you just bumped up the saturation a little bit, then that works fine because then you can still put one color outfit together. But instead, I would kind of skew more towards just having three all one color outfits. I'm assuming, and it's very dangerous to assume, I understand this, you already have an all black outfit and you probably already have an all white outfit or maybe you just need one piece to complete an all white outfit. Then I would just take one other color in my wardrobe that isn't black or white and do an all one color of that. You might already have some pieces. It might be blue because you have blue jeans. If you're looking for a good staple pant that isn't a blue jean but feels like a blue jean and it's super comfortable. In my experience I get so many compliments on these pants and they come in a ton of colors. I wear them to work all the time. Definitely size down a size but these make really good building blocks if there's a color in there that fits your wardrobe for building an all one color outfit. If you found the shopping guide helpful I'd really appreciate it if you liked, commented down below and make sure you're subscribed. That really does help this video get to more people so that we can all practice more mindful shopping. I'm gonna leave two options for you to watch next. The first one one is seven different casual outfits. I'm also going to share with you my best of basics series. So if there's certain teas that you want to stock up on, these are the best ones that are going to fit your body type. So I'll see you over there.